Hello and welcome back to War Z Problems. Today I was going to focus on some in-game problems that I've been having like a lot of difficulty with, but given the events of this week, I have to focus on the outer game problems with War Z at the moment. As you might have heard, Steam has actually dropped War Z sales from their Steam website. So if you go onto Steam, you can look at the game, you can review stuff, but you can't actually buy the game anymore. And this is because, given all the promises and fraudulent stuff that War Z developers have been saying about the game and not delivering on, Steam has actually deemed this unviable, and they've actually released an official st statement from Valve, and this is what they said. From time to time, a mistake can be made, and one was made by prematurely issuing a copy of War Z for sales via Steam. We apologize for this and have temporarily removed the sale offering of the title until we have time to work with the developers and have confidence in a new, in a new build. For those who purchase the game and wish to continue playing via Steam may do so. Those who purchase the title via Steam and are, and are unhappy with what they have received may seek a refund by creating a ticket in our support site here. And then it gives a link to their support site. So yeah, this is a massive, massive problem for Hammer Interactive. Like this, this is a company ender. Like to get your game on Steam is like it's a really prestigious thing to do to get your game onto Steam. Like once it's on there, you're guaranteed to get a lot of sales, a lot of reputation. It's really how indie companies get big. And if they delivered on all their stuff, this would have been the opening gates of like a, you know. A, beautiful career for Hammer Point Interactive, but because they haven't delivered on any of this stuff, not only have they got on there, but they've been removed. Like, that is massive, massive for a company. This could possibly destroy their company as a whole, given just losing this. Uh, they haven't given a, a rebuttal yet. They haven't, they've only briefly given, like, real little statements on the forums, but they haven't talk too much about this and I'll be interesting to see what they say because they could just pull the plug on this game altogether and just run off with the money um, another thing too which is just adds insult to injury is the Metacritic score for this game which is subject to change is currently at 1.1 out of 10 now that is atrocious like you, no one wants to have their game that low and I don't even know how they got that game score that low like that's just that's just crazy how so many people just are just drilling this game. Um, and that's not the end of it too. Like the, the, the hits don't end there. It's also been revealed. I think this has been out for a while, but it's only just become huge. The War Z art is actually copied from the Walking Dead costumes. They've actually got photos of the zombies from the Walking Dead and just photoshopped it with like little bits and changed the colors and stuff like that and kind of put that grain filter over everything but it is a copy of these walking dead actress in makeup and that's what they've used for their main forum background for the game site and for all this stuff it's just really just just devastating and i'm not too sure how copyrights go in this situation but they could face serious copyright infringement for this for using uh i think it's amc that runs the walking dead so they could be looking at you know serious fines from amc for using uh their um their costumes and their images like copyrighted things for that tv show against their permission like I, i'm guessing they didn't use this with their permission because you know they usually this shit cost a lot of money and given the way they've run this game I'm guessing they wouldn't fork out the money for something like that. So yeah, that is just devastating. Uh, it's really showing the scars of a rush game. And it, this, I really feel as if this could be the end of the game. Which sucked, because if it lived to its promises, if it was true, if this game was in development for a year, we should have all the things they promised. They're still saying that vehicles won't be in until next year, they won't have another ye map until next year you won't have more zombie animations until next year like all the new updates don't bring up anything really that new like they've been opening up little bits of the the current map which is like really you know nothing special like you're not getting too much from these areas um all the vehicles in the game like just the stationary ones like they're 
just a stock standard throughout the game. Uh, everything's been like there's I can show you all these images of just it'll have the vehicles they used in War Inc. and they're exactly the same in War Z. And it's just it's just crazy how badly this has all been done. Like it's just complete copy paste of a game and. Uh, I feel really bad because I bought the game hoping that they'd live up to the expectations. Like, DayZ was great. Like, I started playing DayZ. Like, I'm really looking forward to how their standalone goes. So, I was like, their standalone won't be out for some time now. So, War Z is already out. I'll try that and see if I can get into this. And it's just, it's just shit. Just, uh, there's too many bugs. They're not getting fixed. The forums are extremely strict. If you say any criticism about it, you just get kicked or banned. And signing up to the forums isn't easy. Like you have to make like X amount of posts before you can get approved, or you have to have people like your posts to get approved. It's just it's just too much for just basic things that should be free and easy to use. It's just crazy. And another thing is, it, is it in beta? Is it not in beta? Like, the forums is the only thing which says that it's in beta or not. If you start up the game, it doesn't have this massive thing saying, War Z beta. It's just, I don't know. Just, just crazy. I, I don't know. So, if you want to check all my sources in the bottom of the video, I have all the sources. If you want to look at all the images and stuff like that, check out the Metacritic score, see what it's up to now. And yeah, I'll be keeping posted. I reckon my next video will be focusing on the internal problems with this game.